Welcome to FC Chops. I'm your host, Zion Jackson. Each team will be given a bag that includes four mystery ingredients. You'll have 60 minutes to create a main course using what's inside your basket, along with anything else you need from your kitchen to add some extra zing. Today's mystery ingredients include chicken, corn, cheddar cheese, and green peppers. Points will be deducted if all these items are not used. Teams will be judged on creativity, presentation, and of course, taste. Now let's meet our contestants. Leading off in Kitchen 1 is Rebecca, Mackenzie, Hussein, Morgan, and Philip. Kitchen 2 includes Charlie, Gregor, and Graham. Next up is Kitchen 3 with Colin, Corey, Crystal, and Alex. In Kitchen 4, Cooper, Brendan, Reese, and Mikey. And lastly, Kitchen 5 includes Laurel, Cassie, Cheyenne, Brendan, and Allie. We turn the pressure up and the heat is on who will come out to the top and who will be chopped. Helping us make that decision is our three faculty judges, Mr. Scott Caravalan, Mrs. Michelle Eubinger, and Mr. Chad Morley. You know your ingredients and your timeline. On your mark, get set, go! Today we're going to be cooking the healthy chicken fajita stuffed peppers and we all just came to the agreement that this was the one for us. Some of their ingredients include chicken, chili powder, ground cumin, salt, pepper, canola oil, white onion, brown rice, cheddar cheese, lime, green peppers, cilantro, sour cream, and corn. We're probably gonna be the ones winning, just you know, just because we put a lot of work into our meal. Here, do you need a little um, scraper thing? Uh, we're making cornbread waffles with uh, fried chicken and a sweet savory sauce. A little secret sauce. Secret sauce. Yeah, it's good sauce. Well, the waffles are just—it's uh, a basic cornbread waffle. Um, flour, cornmeal, uh, butter, milk, eggs. We changed it up a little bit by adding uh, like regular corn, some green peppers, and jalapenos. Jalapenos gonna be good. Yeah, it's gonna have some bite yeah. to it. Well, we're gonna definitely start on the two main parts, the chicken and the waffles. And then probably towards the end, we're gonna finish up the sauce and then just get everything all together. Competition better be ready, we're coming. Full in, all in, full send, yeah. full send. Right. Yeah. We went from Chick-fil-A sandwiches to tacos to just a lot of not a lot of good stuff and finally we came to the conclusion that we're gonna make some burritos. I think it's more than a burrito actually. I feel like I think it's more of an experience. Because you can get a burrito from Chipotle, you can get a burrito from Keto, but you can't get a burrito from Kitchen 3. No, this, this is this is homemade. This is uh <laughs> I don't even know how to describe how it, really. We, it's undescribable. Just know when the flavor hits your style. mouth, you'll feel at home. We'll be using butter, green pepper, all-purpose flour, chicken broth, chicken strips, chili powder, garlic powder, salt, cream cheese, and tortillas. It's strictly business when we get into the kitchen, so it should be very simple, and we're going to win very easily, I think. I did. You think you're going to win? What do we say? Oh, you're going to win. Oh, you're going to win. I like that. We're packing bowls. We know we're going to win. I got it, guys. You're right. I like that energy. So we were talking, and we thought that it'd be like a creative idea to make crispy buffalo chicken wraps, because we really didn't think anyone else would make it, and it's not that hard to make, too. So we're using chicken wrapped with lettuce, and then we're mixing hot sauce with ranch and honey, and then we're putting green peppers and corn on top with shredded cheese. I, th I think we're just an efficient machine that's gonna get things done. Um, other teams, you should watch out. Good. That is that's bubbling. looking nice. That is bubbling. That's looking nice. That's bubbling. Yeah. That is bubbling. Yeah. We're going to be cooking chicken quesadillas. The ingredients are corn, chili powder, Taco Bell thick and chunky salsa, Tortillas, cheddar cheese, green pepper, and chicken. We 
made a um, fajita mixture with cumin, chili powder, salt and pepper. And then once the chicken was cooked, we added that mixture to make it the fajita chicken part of it. And then we cut up the peppers and we made halves and then we stuffed the peppers with the chicken mixture. Um, one of the challenges today was getting the timing right for cooking the peppers. They needed 20 minutes to cook and getting the preparation done for that, we just couldn't get it so it would have 20 minutes. So we ended cooking them for about 17 yeah, minutes. 15 to 17 minutes. Yeah. They definitely needed more because there was a, too much crunch to the peppers. The chicken took a while to fry. So we were kind of doing that in kind of the background of the whole thing. Like the, the major problem was the, um, the waffles. The, the waffles took a while. We went through two waffle pans because we totally, I totally messed up the, the pour on the first one. Ooh, please zoom in. Please okay. zoom in. No, please zoom, zoom in. in. Zoom. Uh, so oh my God. When we opened it, when it should have been done, it was just like a, like it looked like scrambled eggs. It wasn't, wasn't waffly in the slightest. The second one turned out much better. Still not great though, because we didn't um, add flour. <laughs> we should have. I started off with cutting and seasoning the chicken while calling in um, Crystal. You guys were getting the um, corn ready along with the sauce that we were working at the same time. Then first, then we cooked the chicken, we seasoned it, and we got the corn in the microwave to defrost, and we cooked the chicken and the peppers together. We let that cook and we prepared the uh, the sauce the sauce yeah. in the uh, baking pan and buttered that up so they don't stick. I remember me and Crystal were making it and she goes, Corey, you need more cheese. I'm like, Crystal, you think it's a little too much cheese? She goes, no. So we're mixing it in the pan and like it's sticking. Like it, just, it doesn't look like a sauce. This looks like a big blob of melted cheese. Yeah. So like, oh, what do we do? And Crystal suggested adding water. I was like, uh, I don't know if that will work. And then we ended up going with it and it ended up turning out really well. We were cooking uh, buffalo chicken wraps with um, sweet peppers and corn on the side. We poured the olive oil into the pot to get the fryers going because we needed to fry up some chicken. And um, then we uh, sauteed the uh, sweet peppers and corn. Once the chicken was finished, we took it out of the fryer and uh, we sauced it up. Today we were cooking a quesadilla with corn. We first cut up the chicken and shy had like got the pan and stuff ready and then we cut up the peppers and then Chai had the chicken cooking and so when the chicken was done she added the corn and the peppers and then she added chili powder. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Today one of the challenges we had was like getting the tortillas like the right kind like not too burnt and not too soft. The first time we burnt them so we fixed it but the second time it worked out pretty well. Kitchen, you have five minutes left. Five minutes left. Time to plate your meals. Five minutes. Let's hustle. Five, four, three, two, one. Chefs, hands off. Hands off. Hands off your plates. Hands off your plates. It's time to start our judging. Kitchen one, present your dish. Um, it was half of a pepper stuffed with our filling, and then we gave the judges some sour cream as a side. We definitely had the best presentation. <laughs> it looks beautiful. I thought that we would definitely have enough spice in it, which turned out that it didn't. You guys might have lacked a little bit of seasoning in it to call it like a fajita. I don't think it has a ton of it. Like, probably more the cumin or something uh, to get it up to that. The spice was not there like as much as they wanted it. Yeah, it tastes very healthy. I think it's very creative. This would be a good lunch. I think you want outside of the realm of what the other kitchens are probably going to do. Yeah, I've never had a stuff pepper. No, I think it's good. Think. Kitchen two, present your dish. It smells fantastic. Oh, this yeah. is fancy too. Thank ooh, you so much. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Excellent, excellent. I like your sweet and savory sauce. I'll take those jalapenos if you don't want them. I think it's delicious. Yeah, Thank good you. job. Chicken's really good. This chicken's Thank cooked you. well. Thank you. Fried and crispy. Yeah. So. Thank you. Kitchen three, present your dish. Thank you. Thank you. I think the one thing that people are going to be more intrigued about with our burrito is the amount of cheese. We have a lot of, uh, a lot of cheese. We have three cups. 
That's better than any of those cheesy uh, Taco Bell burritos. Oh, you know what you yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Don't go to Taco Bell. I'd much rather have this at like 11 o'clock at night than a Taco I'm Bell burrito. Three. Yeah. Hopefully. This is wonderful. Yeah. A lot of cheese. A lot yeah. of cheese. <laughs> There's so much cheese. In there. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of, There's kind of cheddar cheese, you know? Mm -hmm. Do you guys like cheese? Yeah. Yeah. So it's, you can tell. I can feel your passion for cheese, for cheese <laughs> in this burrito. Yeah. They said um, by far they said the chicken was the best part. They, like they the said the chicken was the best part. But they said there's a little too much cheese. Oh, <laughs> 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 Kitchen four, present your dish. Oh, Mikey, oh. expect greatness. Beautiful Thanks, presentation BK. here. I don't really think they thought much. I mean, it didn't look bad, but it didn't look like really like impressive. I'm just picking it up. Okay. Mm -hmm, you have to. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. How much cheese is in this? Oh, like, mm. well, we sprinkled. Just curious. Well, I'm not, not, not so aggressive. <laughs> we didn't drown. Them. It's simple. It's not super creative, but like you, you did it right. You took a recipe we've had before. You know, I've had buffalo chicken wraps before, but you, you'd made a very good buffalo chicken wrap. Tasted good, at least. At least we didn't poison anybody. The side is. Cut up peppers and corn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, if those are two of your ingredients, you may have missed a little bit there. This tastes good. Excellent. Thank you, guys. I'm impressed you made your own sauce. Mm hmm. Thank you, judges. Thank you. Kitchen five, present your dish. Thank you. Thank you. Mine's oh, a corner. But I, I don't, here. I like French food. Like, I'm a fan of like. Toasted things like I've one corner toasted. Mm -hmm. No, I thought I would I'm not try complaining. To flip it over in the oven to get it crispy on both sides. Mm -hmm. It's like really soft. Like if you invite me to your house and you put this in front of me, I'd eat it and be like, ah, oh, thank you for the good quesadilla. It's good. I would. I don't think I'd go home and be like, I had the most amazing quesadilla. <laughs> you know, got spicy and exciting, and they did something new. Um, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's 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 a good quesadilla. It's not bad. I'm I'm not unhappy with it. I think the judges liked them. They just like told us that it was like too bland and like had too much corn and green peppers. Now let's see who will be chopped and who will become the new star of FC Chops. You're all better cooks than I am. I, I appreciate that. Thank you for having us. It was delicious. All of you did a fantastic job. There's a lot of creativity today. So it was good to see lots of different things. We didn't have to eat the same thing twice. The, the judges, it was it was pretty unanimous uh, who the number one was. We all were uh, in agreement on this mm -hmm. uh, from the, 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 the taste, uh, the presentation, the creativity in general all, was very impressive to us. It felt like something we could, we could order uh, at a fine dining establishment. Uh, and so the winner is kitchen number two. Good job. He came up for like high fives. Good job. Like, Good job. Congratulations. Very Good impressive. Job. Oh, Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Thanks, everybody. I'm your host, Zion Jackson, signing up. <laughs>